But you know, Vig, uh, our pride and joy of the Yankees. You know, when we have a lot of good players, we have Hall of Famers on our team right now, but we only have one best ever, and that's Mariano Rivera. You know, after the 2010 season, we had a little tough off season with him. You know, there were reports that he was going to move on to the Red Sox to be their closer. You know, move that joker Jonathan Papelbon out of there, who, who was a joker, no, no doubt about it. Uh, but Mariano, he's, he's a Yankee, always been uh, his whole career. Were we close true to Yankee. him? <laughs> he's a true Yankee, part of the core four. Gag. Um, you know, it, how close were we losing him to, to losing him to the Red Sox? Would it have mattered? Would it have helped the Red Sox? How would it have hurt us? I mean, just, just give me a, give me a top level view of how it, how it came about. Well, when the, um, from my perspective, when I first started hearing about. Mariano Rivera re-signing with the Yankees during this offseason, right, going into the 2011 season, yeah. you start hearing shortly thereafter uh, feedback that Mariano was courted by the Red Sox, right. and then a couple of days later became he was almost a member of the Red Sox, and then maybe a few weeks later I see Mariano doing an interview, and it becomes, he, someone asks him point blank the question, how close were you to becoming a member of the Boston Red Sox? And he looks at the reporter and he says, very close. Hmm. Yeah. Look, there's no doubt that you and I are all about understanding that the, the professional athletes have a have an a obligation to themselves, to their family, to get every possible dollar. Sure. Okay. They do. They do. He was not going to get any more money as a Boston Red Sox or Boston Red Sox hmm. than he would have as a, as a, as a Yankee. So to use that as a as a negotiation ploy is one thing, but to after you have already signed with the Yankees to then tell a reporter that you came very close to becoming a member of the Boston Red Sox, to me is almost uh, almost unfathomable. Yeah, you know it, it, it's almost blasphemy. You can say it that way. You know it, it's, it's uh, bad mouthing. You know your current employer, the guy you've always worked with, has paid you very well. It's unnecessary. You've, you've already resigned. Yeah, I mean, you wonder does that tarnish his legacy? Because, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a little common, it's something silly, but uh, you know what, it, it makes me as a Yankees fan, you know, wonder, you know, what does Mariano feel about the Yankees? Does he really care, or is it just a paycheck? And, and it, it maybe it tarnishes, it tarnishes his legacy in a, from a true purist baseball fan perspective. Right. I mean, you know, someone who's not following baseball as deeply as I and the Fitz and Vig fans uh, are, they would not think of it any more than they would think of what pair of socks they put on in the morning. Right. Right. But from a, a true sports fan's perspective, to hear an athlete such as Mariano, a true Yankee, a guy who came through the, through the Yankee farm system, who's become a Hall of Famer because of the Yankees, and become a multimillionaire because of the Yankees, to then say, after he's re-signed with the Yanks, <laughs> that he came really close to being a member of the Boston Red Sox, to me, I have an issue with that. I, I have an issue, too. It makes me wonder what's going to happen at the end of next season when his contract's up again. He, he's not getting any younger. Right. Where, where are we going with this guy? Do, right. we, do we want it to be a public relations nightmare if he goes to the Red like Sox? Like it was with Jeter. Like it, like was it with, is with Posada. Exactly. I mean, we don't want to fall into that trap again with Rivera, and, and I could see it coming at the end of next season. Right, your guy may have a three and a half ERA, and, and we have to give him another like you know twelve year contract just because he's a true Yankee.